Please welcome the front runner for the Republican nomination, former President Donald Trump. who was at the Capitol that day, as you know, was your vice president, Mike Pence, who says that you endangered his life on that day. I don't do think he feel, was in any danger. Mr. President, do you feel that you owe him an apology? No, because he did something wrong. He should have put the votes back to the state legislatures, and I think we would have had a different outcome. I really do. But he doesn't have the authority to do that, as you know. What? The vice president does not have the authority to okay, reject those Are you ready? Let's have this one results. out just now, because it's interesting. Let's keep it interesting, right? <laughs> I like Mike Pence very much. He's a very fine man. He's a very nice man. He made a mistake. His lawyer said, you cannot move. I called him the human conveyor belt. I said, even if the votes, you mean, I talked to his lawyer, even if the votes are absolutely fraudulent, he can't say, yes, sir, he can't say, but, and the Democrats played it, and the rhinos played it. And then the election was over. They told him he couldn't do it. And Mike said to me, I can't do it. The lawyers told me he can't do it. They can't do it. But the lawyers were wrong. Because right after the election, they all met, the rhinos and the Democrats, and they worked out a plan to make sure that future vice presidents don't do what I said you could do. That's not what happened. You're referring to the Electoral Count Act. That's I've exactly read, right. I've read that. There is, there is no authority. No, legal experts, me. including Republican legal experts, say that he does not have that authority, Mr. Caitlin, President. But I want to Why did on. they change the law then, saying that you can't do it? They didn't change the law. They strengthened the law because they were worried about oh, presidents exploiting. Oh, they strengthened exploding. it, meaning you could do it. <laughs> Thank that's, you. that's not what it means. Thank you. Same, same, but different, but still same. Ha, ha, ha. Julie, what's your question for the president? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. I appreciate you answering this question this evening. How do you plan to appeal to women voters in New Hampshire who are concerned about the Dobbs decision and how states may change their laws? It's such a great question, and uh, it was such a great victory, and uh, people are starting to understand it now. Uh, you know that they wanted to bring it back to the states, but that was probably the least important part of that victory. Getting rid of uh, Roe v. Wade was an incredible thing for pro-life because it gave pro-life something to negotiate with. Pro-life had absolutely nothing being stuck in Roe v. Wade to negotiate with. And now what's happening, and I see it all over, uh, deals are being made, deals are going to be made. The, so way, I, the way I look, I think it's very important to say this, I consider the other side to be radical. Because the other side, under Roe v. Wade and other things, the other side, they're radical. Because they will, remember the debate with Hillary Clinton, they said, rip the baby out of the womb at the end of the ninth month. They will kill the baby in the ninth month. If you look at that crazy governor of Virginia from the former governor, where he said, no, the baby will be born, and then we'll decide, essentially, whether or not to execute but the Mr. baby. President so in this particular example, uh, if a mother is in labor, I can tell you exactly uh, what would happen. Um, the infant would be delivered. Uh, the infant would be kept comfortable. Uh, the infant would be resuscitated if, if that's what the uh, mother and the family desired. And then a discussion would ensue between the physicians and the mother. So, so I think this was really blown out of proportion. So when, to they, say that? when they went to the Capitol, and they were breaking into the Capitol, smashing windows, injuring police officers. Why did you? Why did it take you three hours to tell them to go home? I don't believe it did. Oh, let me pull it out. I have to pull it out. <laughs> so, so if you look at on January fifth, the day before, I said, "Please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country." Stay peaceful. Stay peaceful. This was the day before, and this was in the form of Twitter. Now use truth, truth social. I think it's far superior, okay? I hope everybody's on truth. I hope everybody's on truth. Uh, if you look January 6th, this is at two, before 2.30, I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. This is right after, as it was happening. But what happened is they took it down I don't know why. I think they took it down because it was so good. They didn't like it being up there. <laughs> I am asking, this is, and we didn't know until I got it back, because now I have 90 million people waiting for me to go back, but I'm on truth, and I'm staying on truth. Listen, I am asking for everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful. No violation. It's, we want no violation. We want no violence. Remember, we are the party of law and order. Respect the law and our great men and women in blue. Thank you. That was at 2.30. 
that was very early. You, you did not testify in person in this trial. There was a tape deposition of you from October in it. You defended the comments that you made on that Excess Hollywood tape about being able to grab women how you want. Do you stand by those comments? I said, if you're famous and rich or whatever I said, but I said, if you're a star, uh, you are, and I said, women let you. I didn't say you grip. I said, women let. You know, you didn't use that word. But if you look, women let you. Now, they said, will you take that back? I said, look, for a million years, this is the way it's been. I want to be honest. This is the way it's been. I can take it back if you'd like to, but if you're a famous person, if you're a star, and I'm not referring to myself, I'm saying people that are famous, people that are you stars, were asked in the deposition, people that are rich, to be a star people that are powerful, yes. uh, they tend to do pretty well in a lot of different ways, okay? And you would like me to take that back? I can't take it back because it happens to be true. I said it's been true for one million years, approximately a million years, perhaps a little bit longer than that. So you stand by those comments? Well, I don't want to lie. Mr. Oh, President, we have what, a lot of Here's questions. what she wants Mr. to President, say. Let's a get rich to the and famous person tonight. has no advantage over anyone else. Well, you do have an advantage. And I say unfortunately, but that's the way it is. You said fortunately or unfortunately. Well, fortunately or unfortunately for her. I built a wall. I you built hundreds of miles of wall. And I finished it. And then I said, we have to build some more because there are areas like water going through a dam. There are some areas where a lot of people are coming. You close up one and they come into another. And we started another 100 miles of wall. In fact, I said to my people, if we start this and don't finish it, and then we had a rigged election, I'm sorry to say it. The and, election was and, not rigged, oh, okay, Mr. Good, President. You I'm, can't I'm keep saying that all night that. long. And so then they the took over and they decided not to finish it. It would have taken them three weeks. I built hundreds of miles of wall. If we didn't have it, it would be hard to believe it could be any worse. They're just letting people flow into our country. Look, a country has to have borders. There's never been anything like ha is happening to our country you right now. You built about 52 miles of new wall when you were in office. Mr. Mr. President, it wasn't the complete wall. One other thing that with, with no, immigration... No, but I have to respond to that. With your immigration, it was only about okay, 52 can miles I of new wall. This is what she does. <laughs> I built hundreds of miles. Some of the wall was up there. And it would be laying on the ground, rusted, rotten steel, rusted, rotten wood, a little. And what the radical left crazy Democrats did, if there's a piece of wood laying down, they consider that a wall. I built 30-foot walls that go down seven feet into the ground. If there was a little piece of wood sitting in the ground, they said, oh, he's not building a wall. We already had a wall. Because this is the game. A very good relationship with uh, President Zelensky, because as you know, he backed me up with the, with the phony uh, impeachment, impeachment hoax number one, when he said, the president didn't do anything wrong. So that was I happened when you to asked like, him for an investigation. So I happened to like, yeah, that's weapons. right. And it, it was, I was totally exonerated, by the way, just a waste of time and money. You were impeached over that. Yeah, you were impeached, impeached over that. But let's stay on topic here, Mr. President, because the question is, would you give Ukraine weapons and I was and impeached funding? by a crazy woman named Nancy but Pelosi. But the question here is, place. would you... Excuse me, let me just, just follow up. There. Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I want everybody to stop dying. They're dying. Russians and Ukrainians. I want them to stop dying. And I'll have that done. I'll have that done in 24 hours. I'll have it done. You need the power of the presidency to do it. But you but won't say that you want Ukraine to win. You, you know what I'll you say? In, I'll say this. Office. I want Europe to put up more money because they're in for 20 billion. We're in for 170. And they should an be and they should the equalize. War. They have plenty of money. They should equalize. I got with NATO but I'm when I you sat down, I got them right to put now, up Mr. hundreds President. of billions of dollars that they weren't paying under Obama and Bush and all of these other presidents. That's why they're, they're able to help them fight the war because of the money I got. But, but I want Europe. What's to, happening in Ukraine, excuse me, Mr. President. I want Europe to put up more money because they're laughing at us. They think we're a bunch of jerks. We're spending 170 billion dollars for faraway land, and they're right next door to that land, and they're in for 20. I don't think so. My question to you is, will you pardon the January 6 rioters who were convicted of federal offenses? I am inclined to pardon many of them. I can't say for every single one, because a couple of them, probably they got out of control. But, you know, when you look at Antifa, what they've done to Portland, and if you look at Antifa, look at what they've done to Minneapolis and so many other, so many other places, look at what they did to Seattle and BLM, BLM, 
Many people were killed. These people, I'm not trying to justify anything, but you have two standards of justice in this country, and what they've done, and I, I love that question, because what they've done to so many people is nothing, nothing. And then what they've done to these people, they've persecuted these people. And yeah, my, my answer is, I am most likely, if I get in, I will most likely, I would say it will be a large portion of them. You know, they did a very... But that's the question that investigators have, I think, is why you held on to those documents when you knew the federal government was seeking them and then had given you a subpoena to return them. Are you them. ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's you the mind? answer? Can I, do you mind? I would like for you to answer the okay, question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to You're a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> Can you answer why, you, why you held on to the documents? I was negotiating and we were talking to NARA, that's Washington, to bring whatever they want. They can have whatever they want. The election, regardless of the outcome. Do you want me to answer it again? If I think it's an honest election, I would be honored to. And right now, we are so far ahead of both Democrat and Republican. And you know what? If I don't win, this country is going to be in big trouble. It's so sad to see what's happening. But no commitment there on the accepting the results, regardless of the if, outcome. If it's an honest election, correct, okay. I will. Okay, so not committing to accepting the 2024 election results or acknowledging what happened in 2020. Go President ahead. Trump, I want to thank you for coming here tonight. This is an important conversation with voters to hear and to have. Thank you to our audience and to our host, St. Anselm College. CNN's coverage continues with Anderson thank Cooper you. and Jake Tapper. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does it bother you that he keeps talking about 2020 and not 2024? I'll ask you first. This is Jonathan Leslie. He's 40, Republican, voted for Trump twice. How do you feel about those lies? So I feel like part of it's also the media narrative, as you guys asked him the first question at the town hall about the 2020 election, rather than current stuff. So don't you think he could say it's time for me to start talking about 2024 and not lies that aren't true? Couldn't the media ask him a question about 2024? Well, there were questions, but you're right, that was the first thing, but that's something that was on our mind. Here he is at this town hall today. I've never met her before, and you're just in making fun of her. How did that make you feel as a woman? Um, I didn't really care. Why didn't you care? I don't know enough about the case. Um, women can be victims of abuse. Women can also make up stories. I mean, we see it all yeah, the time. I mean, so I don't know. All of these situations where people are coming out 20, 30 years later, I don't listen to it. What I want to ask you first of all is, do you think, show of hands, anybody think Donald Trump looks better after this town hall? Any of you think he looks worse? Any of you think the same thing about him as you did when you walked in? So all of you feel that way.